What's going on, guys? So I was going through Dry Dock Streams Games uh, Twitter feed, and I came across this one right here. So this tweet that says, James Doolittle and his flyers wrote history 80 years ago, bringing carrier-borne Army B-25 bombers over Tokyo. Julian authored some beautiful art about it for Task Force Admiral last year. Hopefully, we'll be able to recreate the event in all its glory in game two. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't think there's any game that actually made this possible. Uh, I don't know if they just didn't include it out of oversight or what, but uh, I haven't run into any game that actually was able to do this. So being able to launch a Doolittle raid in Task Force Admiral is going to be epic. Uh, this is, this is, wow. Okay. <laughs> so I'm kind of curious. Uh, is it just going to replay the whole scenario? Right, you know, from, you know, when the time that uh, they launch to the bombing to uh, them, um, you know, uh, bailing out over China. Or is it you can launch the Doolittle raid whenever wherever you want like basically leave hawaii with the b-25s but instead of attacking tokyo you attack yokosaka or uh nagasaki or hiroshima you know uh you know basically on your time frame at your choosing with the fleet that you decide to assemble so, but in, in either case, this is awesome. Um, I have played multiple, you know, games, and I have yet to run into a game where I could actually put, you know, army bombers on, you know, naval aircraft. You know, that's usually a, a big no-no, <laughs> you know, in most uh, strategy uh, World War II games. Uh, I just thought you guys would want to see this because this is going to be epic. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Catch you next one. See you then.